Hey all, welcome to this week's favorite collection here at the Crawford Institute of Pop Culture Collectibles. This one's not going to be action figures, busts, or statues. It is going to be one of those collections that uh, is one of these smaller groupings, but they're kind of all over the place. Games and puzzles. Right here we have a Bob's Burgers puzzle. See that reflection of Darth Vader there? This puzzle uh, is a good example of what you're going to be seeing, that kind of thing right here. You're going to find a lot of Simpsons stuff, because like Simpsons and Batman are the two licenses I tend to collect a lot of weird things. So games and puzzles fall in that category. Here we have an electronic game, what would Homer do? One of the electronic trivia games. More modern, while well, here we have the retro-style tin toy pool game with Moe and Homer, which you can play against each other. Down here we have... Cards Against Humanity box set for The Simpsons. There's actually two versions of this. This is the blue box. There's also a black box. I believe the blue is a little harder to get. Oh, but don't quote me on that. Now, we're going to get a whole lot of games that are board games. You can see here I have a little ladder. We're going to walk up this ladder because I didn't want to try to zoom in on this. Up here on the top shelf... We have a whole bunch of Simpsons games guarded by Krusty. We've got Operation. Uh, we've got the Scenic game that was the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, one of the 3D chess sets. Uh, and in back, we have not one, but two versions of Monopoly, um, a game called Just the Simpsons Board Game. I always love it when they do those that are sort of based on the show. And then in the very back, that blue one, that's Jeopardy. Simpsons Jeopardy. I love that, too. You see, we get a lot of Clue. We get a lot of uh, Monopoly. These are two licenses that get used a lot for character board games. So I like it when we get the weird ones. Up here we have another example, Battle of the Sexes, done in a Simpsons style, as well as this unusual Rubik's Cube called Rubik's Magic. That's a puzzle, as far as I'm concerned. Sure as hell puzzles me. Down here we have some more puzzles. These are little box puzzles that you would get there. Key change that Fun For All did for the Simpsons. There's one there. There's another one back here. Plenty of electronic games for the Simpsons, including another one of the donut-shaped versions. You can read your mind. Down here at the bottom, we have a uh, card game in back. See there behind Duff Man? It's a little hard to see, but that's a memory card game for The Simpsons. Great for kids. Like I said, we get plenty of the standard games. Here's a Bob's Burgers Clue. There's a Rick and Morty Monopoly. Slightly more unusual is The Simpsons Sorry, and in back, that's a Bob's Burgers Monopoly. Things like The Sorry are a little more unusual. They're games that we don't see get a lot of uh, licensed versions. Up here, Ren and Stimpy got some card games. Ren and Stimpy card game. As well as a Futurama Slurm can that uh, contained playing cards. I count playing cards as games. Also in the uh, Ren and Stimpy, we have these Drum of Idiots, which is sort of like the, uh, remember the monkeys that uh, you had to uh, pull up out of the game, out of the barrel of monkeys? Yeah. It's sort of like that game. And at the very top, we have two uh, uh, small puzzles. These are the big piece puzzles, popular for kids. And Ren and Stimpy. Rick and Morty's had a few. Down here at the bottom, we have the Total Rick All game, as well as the Anatomy Park game. And over on that side, we have a Pickle Rick game, which I bought predominantly because of the giant Pickle Rick. So, as you can see, there's quite a few games in the animated slot lines. I'm going to walk over this way, and not uh, I'll just zoom in this time. Up there on top, you can see in back, there's a Loser Takes All. Simpsons behind it is a uh, another of the chess sets. Uh, there's two versions of Clue, one there and one behind it. You can see there. One is an ex a special version. And then we have the Homer Mart Head. Those are trivia games, as are the two metal tins in front. Those are all trivia games. The Duff Man can is, is um, playing cards. And then we have a couple of Rubik's Cubes based on Homer and Bart's heads. So that's a nice variety of games in the cartoon lines. Now, oddly enough, I don't have any 
Star Wars games that I can think of. No cards, no puzzles. Isn't that weird? I think that's weird. But I do have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer game. As I said earlier with the uh, one that Simpsons board game, I like it when they do a game that's just based on the show. Another one of those is Barnabas Collins over here. This was my game as a kid. My mom kept it. I think all the pieces are still there, or at least most of them. And behind it is a monster checkers game where each of the checkers is, oh, werewolves and phantoms and ghouls. It's from the old Cardinal Toy Company from back in the 60s. Now, we really don't have anything in the uh, Western military sections, of course. We do have, down here in miscellaneous, a spawn game. Another board game specific to a particular license. Oh, what's really odd to me, too, is I don't have any um, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. You would think that would be another license where I would have lots of games. But I don't. But up there on top, above the window, is a terrific DC Superheroes. Actually, that's the Superpowers. It was branded Superpowers Puzzle. They did a couple of these. Again, they're the large piece format. Great for kids. I don't have anything really too much in the Batman line for games which might strike you as odd considering how much weird stuff I have for Batman, but I do have a set of animated series playing cards since I buy almost everything that they slap the animated series logo on. As we come around here, we're going to finish up with a couple more. These are in the Indiana Jones section here at the end. One back there, let's zoom in on that one. One back there is the Life, the Game of Life, the Indiana Jones version. And right next to it over here, let's walk around, is a terrific version of Monopoly. We'll zoom in again. This version of Monopoly is terrific because it is in that wood-burned uh, wooden case, which is really cool. So there you have games and puzzles. Lots of those. Uh, and I'm sure there's going to be lots more. Games and puzzles are the kind of things when I have a weird license like... Uh, Ren and Stimpy or Rick and Morty and I see a game or a set of playing cards, I'm very likely to pick it up. Especially Bob's Burgers. I'm looking for a lot of Bob's Burgers stuff these days since I'm a huge fan. So that's it for this week's favorite collection. Hopefully you're having a terrific week collecting. And until Friday when we do an acquisition report, have a great one.